This is about maybe the fifth time that I started and stopped this video. I really don't know how to start. I guess I can start by saying I received some disheartening information, some disheartening news that David Carroll had passed away. From what I understand, he had passed from COVID-19. I watched his last video that he made and he would always be remembered for the content that he put out, positive or negative. You're going to always have people that agree with you and people that disagree with you. You're going to have people that's going to support you and people that's not going to even like you. Never met you before, but they just don't like you. My only issue I had with David Carroll was when he spoke evil against the Most High, against the Bible, against Christianity and against the Most High's Holy Spirit. The last video he made, he condemned himself. Now, I really didn't want to go in this direction because I don't want to make it appear that I'm speaking ill toward the man and he's passed away. It's unfortunate that he passed away, but again, he will be remembered by the content that he put out. I find it interesting that the same God that he claimed that he don't believe in, he now have to face that same supreme being he have to give an account of himself. No one to speak or intercede for him. He's on his own. He also have to now be committed to the ground, his body committed to the ground by the same preacher that he spoke ill about. The same pimp in the pulpit. Now, there's quite a few people on YouTube that speak evil against things that they really don't understand. My advice to those people is, if you don't understand spiritual things, sometimes it's just best to remain silent. That's the best type of wisdom that a man or woman could have is to remain silent because you have no idea when your time is up. Now I made a video about a week ago and I mentioned in that video that every year death takes a certain number especially around this time of year. And I said that there are so many celebrities and entertainers and even people that you know are not going to make it out of this year. So we have to be mindful of how we live, how we treat people, and the things that we say, because much of what we say can condemn us, would put us in danger of damnation, whether you believe or whether you don't believe. I want to play a short clip of David Carroll's last video. And again, I appreciate the man's content. 
My only issue is when he speak ill against the most high. Now there's another YouTuber, Sonetta, that does the same thing. And I would not doubt it. And I'm not wishing bad on anyone. But I would not doubt it if Sonetta be one of the one of the ones that don't make it out of this year. And he have to take all of the blasphemy and evil that he spoke against the Most High. He now have to take that into the next life. But I want to play a portion of David Carroll's video. Listen to what this man have to say and how he blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. Listen for yourself. As they tell it, it don't make sense. And I, I, I'm tiptoeing here, I'm tiptoeing here, but I'm, I'm going to do it. The story doesn't make sense. So, Mary and Joseph are, are married. So let's say Mary got, did get pregnant by another man. Then that means she's an adulterer, right? She committed adultery because she's married. So we know that she didn't have, she wasn't pregnant by another man. She was pregnant by the Holy Ghost, according to y'all's Bible. So the Holy Spirit committed adultery. I mean, obviously so, because she's carrying the child and, 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 and she ain't married to the Holy Spirit, so therefore if, she, if she's actually impregnated by this child, then that means that the Holy Spirit committed adultery with this woman. I mean, it just don't make sense, y'all. It don't make sense. So there has to be some esoteric, esoteric meaning behind all of this. You can't take that literal. And this is what the Negro does, because he's so dumb. He, the nigga, he, he actually believes. <laughs> and I know I'm, 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 I'm going on a tangent, but, you know, I'm going to do it. The nigga, he actually believes that Noah built this ark. This man said the Holy Spirit committed adultery. This man blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. And now his clock has stopped ticking. David Carroll's clock has stopped ticking. And now he has to give an account for what he said. I want to read a scripture to you, taken from the book of Mark, the third chapter, reading the 28th to the 30th verse, and it reads as follows, and pay close attention. Verily I say unto you, 
all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost has never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Because they said he has an unclean spirit. They told Christ, or they spoke of Christ and said that Christ had an unclean spirit and that he cast out devils by the spirit of Beelzebub, the prince of devils. So by them saying that, doing the same thing that many YouTubers have done, the same thing that David Carroll has done, the same thing that Sonetta has done. The Bible says they never have forgiveness. So you can speak evil against the Most High. You can speak evil against Christ. But when you speak evil of the Most High's protected class, the Holy Spirit, that's blasphemy that will follow you into eternal damnation. The scripture says you are in danger of eternal damnation. And not long after David Carroll made this video, he passed away from COVID-19. Now, I have some hoodies that you can... Click on the link in the description box that says, I survived COVID-19. David Carroll sounds a lot like I did when I had COVID-19. I don't wish that upon no one. I passed out during that ordeal. I could have been like David Carroll, but because of the grace of the Most High, he raised me up from that. Everyone is not that fortunate. Especially if you live your life speaking evil against the Most High and against His Holy Spirit. It's best to remain silent. I can never seem to understand why people that claim that they don't believe in the Bible, they don't believe in the Most High, and you have some that say they don't even believe in demons, but they say they're spiritual. I can't seem to understand that if you don't believe in that, if you don't accept it, if you consider yourself an atheist, why do you spend so much time and energy discrediting the Bible? and speaking evil of things that you don't understand. David Carroll even said it don't make sense to him. So if it don't make sense to you, either you try to get understanding from someone that is uh, learned or educated in that field, or you leave it alone. But by you speaking out evil against it, Blasphemy against the Most High's Holy Spirit, you put yourself in danger of damnation. David Carroll don't have a second chance. Every time you wake up in the morning, you have a second chance to repent. His time has expired. His clock is no longer ticking. His clock stopped ticking. And his chance, his opportunity to repent and turn away from his evil has now expired. 
So now he has to answer to that same God that he cursed and be buried by the same preacher that he spoke ill and evil about. That same preacher now have to say words over his body and commit his body to the ground. So you have to be careful when you get into your rant and you open yourself up for the devil to use you. The devil used David Carroll. Again, I appreciate the videos he made. I'm subscribed to him. He made good work, but there were times like the video I let you listen to. He spoke evil and he condemned himself. Now he have to give an account for that. Now reality kicks in. And he's being judged. The Bible says it is appointed man wants to die and after that the judgment. Now he's about to be judged. So it's unfortunate. I would say rest in peace. I would say rest in power. But I'm just hoping that things are well with his soul. Feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.